Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the Ezekiel from the back. It's a very simple choke, simple way for you to finish the fight. Okay, uh, what I like from the Ezekiel is because it's very sneaky. Okay, it's very, very sneaky. So the hand that's going to choke my opponent is the hand that's under his arm. It's not this one. And usually your opponent is uh, it's waiting for this hand that's on top, right, to attack his neck in order to choke him, right? So this way here that we're gonna do, uh, the Ezekiel, we're gonna cross or bottom arm, the arm that's under his armpit right here, across, like right around his neck here. So I need to see my hand, I need to be able to see my hand here. So this part of my wrist, okay, is gonna touch right around his neck here, <coughs> okay? Right here. So once I get, when I, once I see my hand, I'm gonna control with four fingers inside my sleeve right here, okay? Just to remind you that um, you can grab inside your own sleeve, like four fingers inside, if you compete, right? But if you are uh, doing that against your opponent, right? So this is illegal. You cannot go four fingers inside his pants or his sleeves, all right? Just your own. Your own is fine, okay? So I'm gonna cross around, control four fingers inside my own sleeve here, and now I go with my hand around his neck. Okay, just like Ezekiel. And uh, a lot of times when people are learning or applying this choke right here, they think that the hand that's going over, like in this case is the outside arm, right? Is the one that chokes the opponent. It's not that this one that chokes your opponent. It's the hand that's under his neck right here. Even though the hand, your arm is under his arm, right? Your forearm is around his uh, neck, okay? He's gonna feel the choke right there. The outside arm is just to control, okay? It's just to give us support, right? So you, you don't need to extend your arms right here, okay? Just bring your opponent close to you, right? I like to close my hand. I don't like to keep my hand open, right? Close my hand that's outside. And now I'm gonna start, sh I shrug, okay? I bring my, uh, my shoulders towards my ears. And then I start pulling the arm that's under his arm, okay? So I gotta feel my, uh, my uh, wrist across his neck, and that's when you're gonna get the choke. So I'm gonna show you different ways for you to apply this choke, okay? So many, many times I'm here on his back, and my opponent is defending the top arm. I sneak this arm under, around his neck, take my arm out, four fingers inside, done. I set up the choke, okay? So now I just start squeezing and then bring my shoulders towards my ear. And then I need to rotate towards the side that is under his arm. I'm not gonna do this way, okay? I gotta face the other way, okay? So you can finish him when his uh, belly is facing up like this, right? You go across, then you get the choke, right? A lot of times, this choke works when you get a nice leg drag, your opponent like pulls and then you go right behind his back. That's the perfect spot for you to get the choke right here. Once you get here, elbow on the floor, bring him over your lap, make sure you keep your opponent between your, your thighs. Now you don't even need to set up the hooks, just shrug and choke him. And usually when you get here, like I said before, people, try to put this hand like in the front of the neck of the opponent so that's not gonna help you okay don't worry about that sometimes because the regular ezekiel you choke with the outside hand right the regular ezekiel you choke with this hand right here but the, the ezekiel from the back is the same grip but it's the other arm that's gonna choke him okay and i like to keep my hand facing like this okay facing outside like this the palm of my hand I don't like to go this way. So if I keep my hand this way, it's kind of like awkward and not even gonna choke him, okay? I need to turn my hand like this, you see? I need to be able to face the palm of my hand outside. So the back of my hand is gonna be around his neck. Okay? And that way also is gonna save my, it's gonna be safe, uh, safer for my wrist, okay? So if I keep my hand sideways, I can hurt my wrist, okay? So make sure you turn your hand like this. All right, so you can set up from here, 
right, from the leg drag. You can set up, sometimes your opponent is on turtle position with the hooks or without the hooks, okay? This choke is really good. So when I get here, I go with my hand around, control four fingers inside, done. Finish him. Or sometimes he's turtle, turtle position here. I just go with this hand around, look, grab, boom, done. It's over. There's no way he's gonna escape here. Okay, as long as I keep my head side by side of his head, I don't need to put the hooks or anything. It's over, okay? It's really hard for him to escape, okay? One time I was fighting uh, Eduardo Telles in Hong Kong, and he's really good, he's a turtle master. It's really hard to put the hooks on him, so I set up this choke, and then the fight was over, right? So once, once he was here, he was defending, I got my, my hand around, he couldn't even see. I got here, boom, done. Now I put my head on the floor and just maintain myself here. He was worried about the hooks. Of course, I want to get the hooks to get the points in case I get tired. But then, guess what? He tapped, right? So it's a very sneaky way for you to, to choke your opponent without even grabbing his, his colors, okay? All right, so uh, the way we're gonna drill this technique, we can go from top and bottom I'll keep this part of the training right now open for you. You can drill guard pass, you can drill sweep, you can go for a scramble to the back, but you must finish on the back and you're gonna apply the Ezekiel from the back when you get the back. You can be with the hooks in or without the hooks or just one hook, it doesn't matter. As long as you go with the hand, your arm from the same side that you are is the one that goes around, especially if you're facing chest down, right? So in this case here, I could go this way here, right? But I feel this way, it's easier for one to toss me over him like this and then start rolling like that, okay? So that's why I'm on the turtle position here. I like to go with this hand here from the same side, not over his neck, but under his arm, like this. Once I see my hand here, done. I grab four fingers inside and then I go like this, okay? With my hand closed and I feel that if I can close like a fist, like this, it's way stronger for me, okay? Then keeping my hands open. He can grab my fingers and take the hand out, okay? So for example, I can drill from the top. I'm, I'm here, right? We all are in a leg drag position. He turtle, push. Now, I get the choke. Boom, right? And then I do this three times, same. Same way three times, okay? From the leg drag to the, to the back. And then Rolando will take his turn. For example, Rolando can do a kiss of the dragon, taking my back, boom, right? He's gonna go for my back. Once I'm here, um, he's gonna go for the Z count. Boom, boom, choke. And then he goes the three times, okay? So you must go with your hand out, out, always outside, okay? You must like make sure your hand is here. So if your hand is, if this part of your wrist is not touching on the side of his neck, you're not gonna be able to control and get the choke, especially if the guy has a big head like mine, okay? It's gonna be hard for it to set up, okay? So you go one, two, right here, okay? So if you keep your hand here, it's gonna be hard for you to go there, right? But make sure you dig the hand in, right? So we show a couple examples, but you can get the Ezekiel when your opponent is facing belly up, facing belly down, or when he's sideways, okay? From the side control, if you drew a guard pass, you got on the side, you can underhook his arm, force him to, to turn, and then you go for the Ezekiel here. Boom. And then finish him right here, okay? And then we go from there. You guys understand? Have any questions? Right? And when I grab four fingers inside, it's four fingers inside. It's not three fingers, two fingers, or one finger inside. So make sure you have all four fingers inside the sleeve so you have a strong grip, okay? Yes? Yes, sir. When you go inside, is there any place where you're trying to go with his arm for him not to, like, try to... Like yeah, I put my, my, my chin over my wrist. Just like the, the Mataleo, you know? So, for example, if I get here, like this, and I control, 
I put my, I put my, my, my chin over my wrist right here, so it's really hard for me to escape. Okay, it's very very hard for me to escape. So keep him close. And the good thing of this choke is, it's really hard for him to block my hook, my hooks. So just in case like you get in the position and you feel like your grips are getting tired and he's not tapping, he's really tough, make sure you start getting your hooks, you know, and then you let go of the choke so now you're on his back and you get your four points if you need the, the points, you know, or you get the back control, okay? So it's, it's very important. To, uh, there's a, oh, it's very important when you go four fingers inside, you go with your four fingers in this area of your arm. Okay, under your forearm here, okay? Don't go with your hand on this side. Don't go with your hand on, on top. So your four fingers, the back of your hand must touch the inside part of your forearm here, okay? That's the area where you're gonna put your four fingers and then you go for the Ezekiel, okay? All right, let's do it. Let's go, one, two, three.